we have a particular question that the fans are very interested in knowing. It actually is from Desolation of Smaug. Yes. So can you tell us anything about why the pillow of walnuts? That was, I can I tell you, number one, that was not in the script. Number two, uh, Peter thought it would be funny. And as soon as we saw it, Fran and I, we just went, what is he lying on? He's lying on some walnuts. And he said, I don't know. It's all they had to hand. And they did need to elevate him. But yeah, there's no hidden deep meaning in the walnuts. Yeah. I see. Ah, that's, it's, it's good to know. I think, I think it was a little bit of Pete torturing his actors, maybe. One of the things that, uh, as a reader of Tolkien, I have always found wonderful about your scripts with Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit is uh, how you are weaving in the actual writing from the book and sometimes putting it in other characters' mouths. Yes. Uh, so uh, how... Uh, how did uh, how did that work in your in your process? It's interesting because sometimes you know that that was often the case is that um, uh, you know you'd find a great piece of language or a great idea embodied within a great piece of language, and it was unfortunately at that moment coming out of the the, the wrong mouth, so to speak. We tried to limit doing that. Um, but I think, really, you just have to be brave. In the end, we had to make a film, and we could never, um, you know, no matter what you do, you can never live up to everybody's expectations. So we had to live up to our own, you know. As a deep fan, thank you so much uh, for this mag these magnificent films. Uh, I cannot wait. I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, I think one of my favorites, I have to say, yeah. So I am really looking forward to it. And thank you so much, Philip. It, it's a delight to meet you.